Hi everyone, it's Diani. Welcome back to another thrilling video where we are about to embark on a journey through the modern UI to revolutionize how you manage your security roles and privileges within Power Platform. But before we dive into this exciting venture, do me a solid, hit that subscribe button, give us a surrounding thumbs up, and let your thoughts pour down in the comment section below. Your support is greatly appreciated. Now, without further ado, let's unveil the magic of Power Platform security role management in style. Today, we'll be creating a new solution for our demonstration. It's as easy as pie. Simply click on the solutions, create a new one, give it a name, choose your publisher, and click create. Once the solution is ready, click new, then security and security role. This will transport you to the classic role management UI. Let's give our role a name. And for the sake of this demonstration, we'll add privileges to a couple of entities or tables. Click on the account entity or table and here comes the classic single click privilege modification. But wait, this isn't the most proactive approach and it's a productivity roadblock. We'll quickly assign privileges to a couple of tables for our role. Click save and close button to give life to your security role within our solution. Cool, now it's there. But editing privileges here involves multiple clicks and a lot of time. Let's bring in the fun. Back in Power Platform, click on the sitemap, then navigate to the Power Platform and Power Platform Center on the pop-up menu. We'll skip the welcome screen and head straight to the environment on the sitemap. Select your environment. And once it's loaded, click See All under Security Roles in the Access section. This might take a few seconds depending on your connection and the number of roles you have. Once those roles are up and running, let's locate our new role in the list. There it is. Click to open the role. Here's where the real magic happens. In this view, we have categories, core, containing the roles we've updated, which are part of the core entities we selected in the classic or legacy view. You can select a specific role without changing the privilege and copy the table or view permission settings for that table. Changing specific privileges is a breeze with a drop down list. Say goodbye to time consuming clicks. Let's switch things up for the account table. See those two stars? That's your visual cue that something's changed on your table. We can also switch to the compact view to pack more data on the screen. Before we move on, let's make sure that we have saved those changes. Now, onto the miscellaneous privileges tab. This handy feature allows us to filter privileges categories, making it a breeze to manage them. The privacy related privileges tab lets you control user and role access to features related to privacy. You can even trick privacy and security settings right from here. Back to the Tables tab, let's filter for Show Only Unassigned Tables. It's a quick way to spot which tables are in need of privileges updates. Now, let's update the privileges for the File Upload table. As you can see, it's as simple as pie. It gets bumped to the top of the custom tables for our convenience. You can even handle members' privileges inheritance like a pro, expanding the team's privileges directly to users. And here is where the modern UI really shines. You can customize which privileges column you want to see and focus on, keeping distractions at bay. It's all about that clean and efficient workspace. Now let's sprinkle in some user management. Head back to environments. 
select your environment click on settings expand users plus permissions and click on security roles locate the role we created and select it but don't open it just yet click on the members button in the ribbon and when it pops open hit add people a side pane will appear type the username email or team name you wish to add select the user and click add and voila your user is now part of the security role To remove a user, select the user, click on the ellipsis on that record you've just selected. Choose Remove. Or alternatively, you can find the Remove button on the toolbar. And there you have it. You now have a PhD in managing security roles and privileges in Power Platform and adding and removing users to your security roles. If you found this tutorial exciting, give us a virtual high five, hit that like button. And hey, if you are hungry for more thrilling content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for tuning in and happy Power Platforming.